Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 383. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 381 to 386. And this trick, we want to do conditional formatting for a bunch of numbers, but we only want to add conditional formatting if the value is 2.6 or greater all the way up to the maximum value of 2.8. Eight. We're going to use a true-false formula for conditional formatting. Um, we're going to use the AND function. Now the trick to uh, conditional formatting with the true-false formula is that when you highlight your area to add conditional formatting, the active cell, the light-colored cell, you got to build your true-false formula from the point of view of that cell. All right, so how do we get conditional formatting? Home, styles, conditional formatting, new rule all the way down here. The keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Alt and then OD, OD. Then we click new rule, click there for formula, and click here. In 2003 and earlier, you actually uh, do formula is in the very first text box, and then you build your formula. All right, and now remember, it's all highlighted. This is where we're building our formula, not in the cell right here. It will be stored in memory, but remember, it's as if we were creating a formula there and copying it down and over. That's what I mean by build the formula, a true-false formula, from the point of view of that cell. We have two conditions, a max and a min, and we have to say each cell, are you greater than or equal to the max, and are you greater than, less than or equal to the, no, greater than or equal to the min, less than or equal to the max. So we have to use the AND function. The AND function is great. It means take two logical tests, and if they're both true, the AND will deliver a true. So we click there, and it, in conditional formatting, comes up absolute, so I hit the F4 key. Uh, three times, and then I say greater than or equal to, and now I need to get my max value. What did I do with my max value? I thought I had it here. Um, I'm going to click right there. Notice what's going to happen. There's a zero there, but I'll come back later. This is a cool trick. Come back later, and I'll actually uh, put the value there. That's going to be the min, comma, uh, A5. You can type it in. Now this one has to be less than or equal to, and I'll click on not E5, but right there, so E8. Uh, close parentheses, and let's add our format. Now uh, let's do font color white and then a fill, or patterns in earlier versions, more colors, a dark blue right there. Click OK, click OK. Now there's our formula. Click OK. Now, we're going to come over here, and I'm going to put min, and this will be 2.6. And then I'm going to put max 2.8. It's less confusing if you put those numbers in first, right? Uh, and then I'll put some blue here just to emphasize that uh, whenever we see it over in the table, uh, we this is uh, it relates to these over here. Now watch this. I'm going to hit the F9 key, and you can see it. Uh, will change. Now, if you wanted all the other colors to be a different color, you actually don't have to do two. If you have two conditional formattings, uh, this condition is meant here, but the, all the others get something else, then you just highlight the cells, and I'm going to do, say, uh, a light red here, like that. Right? And now if I hit F9, you can see the ones that meet our our max and min are between these two values, get the blue, the rest get a uh, red color. All right, so that's conditional formatting, true-false formula between two values. We'll see you next trick.